Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's uh, 517-2023. So uh, I'm back on the road. I'm back on the road, you guys. I'm back on the road. I got my truck fixed. Um, it cost me a little more than I wanted to, wanted it to be, you know, but uh, they did get my truck fixed. I couldn't believe it. You know, I, I couldn't believe they got the truck fixed. Um, uh, my relative, the shop is just three blocks over, three or four blocks over. So my relative drove by there and she's like, your truck is outside. Maybe you should give, give them a call. And I'm like, well, I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit for them to call me. I waited a little bit and then, you know, I waited about 45 minutes or so. And then I called them and I said, oh, yeah, my relative drove by and said the truck's outside. He's like, yeah, I'm working on your bill right now. I'm like, did you get it fixed? Oh, yeah, we got it fixed. It runs great. Unreal. A thousand dollars later. A thousand forty-seven dollars. So I had to figure out a way to come up with a little extra money, and uh, we tried to put a thousand dollars on that credit card, and it declined. So I'm like, oh. I brought two more two more cards with me. So then we put nine seventy-five on the card, and it got approved. And then we had to put the rest in my checking account. I, I'm like, I think I have, I, I think I have enough in my checking account, you know. And so we got it paid for anyway. Got it paid for. I got, I got to get rid of the old gas. Um, took it for a ride tonight. Um, it's, I'm not used to it. I'm used to a big Silverado. My relative has a four door Silverado, you know, big, big truck. So I'm used to driving that, you know, I'm not used to drive my little S 10, you know? So, um, it was kind of weird driving it. Me, Max, Max and I went for a ride at seven and we went over to the park and stuff. So we could potty and everything else. And we went through drive through town and stuff. And I'm not used to drive my truck. And they had the perps out. They had the perps out, you guys. Um, they had the perps out. Um, you know, one of the things they like to do is um, they'll have perps pretending to be broke down and stuff like that. and Or getting stuck in the snow and stuff like that. And yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be nice. You'll be nice. You'll offer them the sh your shovel. You want my shovel? You can bury your, you know, dig out your car. Or do you want a jump? Oh, yeah, I'll give you a jump. Um, but you're perping me at the same time. You know, so they will do that. Um, we went to the park. I noticed my tire was low from sitting. It's been sitting for six, seven months, you guys, my truck. So the tire was low. Um, so we went to the park, went to the gas station, and... There was a couple in a cat. I think it was a Cadillac. Uh, bald tires, bald tires. I mean, the tires were almost slicks, you guys. Um, it looked like they were living in their car at the gas station. You know, I'm sitting there airing up my tire. He's like, can you give me a jump? I'm like, I don't have jumper cables. And then he part pointed to his roof, and he's like, I got jumper cables. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll give you a jump, you know. And he was a perp, though, you guys. He was a perp. Um, did he really need a jump? I don't know. I don't know. He looked like he was living in his car doing this for 50 bucks, you guys. Um, so I gave him a jump. Um, and he's like, oh, thank you. You know, have a, uh, you know, have a good night and all stuff. And, you know, but he was perping me, banging and all stuff at the same time, you know. And, and. You know, what What they do is, is that they, you know, I don't get V2K anymore, but I still get it. I don't get V2K anymore, but I still get it. What do I mean by that? Um, what I mean by that is, is that I don't get these guys talking to me anymore. I get the silent V2K. I get the silent V2K. So I'm sitting here airing up my tire and they're, they're saying in my mind, they're saying, oh, yeah, this guy's a perp. He's an asshole and <laughs> everything else, you know. And um, and some of these perps can actually hear that because they're, they're doing that to the perps, too. They're doing that to the perps, too. It's really confusing and hard to explain, but they do do that. Um, 
you know, I can give you an example of uh, what they do with Silent V 2 k and they do channel it through the perps too. Um, I was in the psych ward for the last time, and there was a American Indian guy there, and um, they were calling him every name in the book, every racist name in the book. They were calling him every racist name in the book. Now, I'm part Indian, you guys. I, I'm part Indian myself. So, um, you know, I, 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 I did not say these things. Um, they were calling him all kinds of names. And he was eating his lunch. And he's like, yeah, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. Repeating what they were saying in my mind. He was repeating in real time what they were saying in my mind. So they were saying it in his mind too. And then at the end it said, it, it, the voices said, um, you know, silent V2K. This is silent V2K, you guys. Uh, subliminals. Um, they were saying that, oh yeah, I'm an Indian too, or I'm part Indian, I'm part Indian, because I am, you know, I'm part Indian myself. So, um, they were saying, uh, you know, oh yeah, I'm part Indian myself, you know, and all stuff. But they were calling this guy every racist, uh, uh, every racist name in the book, uh, calling him, I don't even want to repeat it on this channel, but they were calling him every racist uh, you know, in, in the book, and he thought it was coming from me. You know, these guys don't know anything about technology. You know, he thought it was coming from me. He thought I was saying that, and they were channeling it in his mind, you know, and all this stuff, and that's what they do. That's what they do. Um, they will go, you know, you'll be at the gas station, and there'll be a perp there, and they'll be giving you Silent V2K and saying, uh, there could be an overweight person pumping their gas and she'll be a perp and they will perp you and you'll be calling her fat and everything else. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're a fat slob and everything else. And it's not me saying it at all. It, it's them saying that and it go in the, in the perp can hear that they're channeling through the perp's mind too, you know, and that's what they do. You know, and they try to make you look like the bad guy. You, oh yeah, look at this guy. He's saying all these bad things about you. You know, if that makes sense, uh, that's what they do a lot in my program um, and stuff. Uh, they'll have hot women, hot women, and and uh, they'll be like, oh yeah, I want to do you, I want to do you, you know, I want to do you and all this stuff. And the hot woman will bang, she'll bang, she'll bang. Every time they do that, she'll bang, she'll bang, bang. You know, and it's not you saying that. Um, it's their perverted thoughts saying that. And the perp can actually hear those thoughts. I think they can hear those thoughts. Maybe they can't hear those thoughts. Maybe they're just telling them to bang. You know, I really don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, we're back on the road. I got my truck fixed. It runs mint. It runs great. Um, I got some plans now for camping. Um, you know, it's just an S10. I'm going to put the bed this way, uh, short wise. And cause I want to see if Tanner will go camping with me and sleep in the truck. I want to give a test drive. We just have a campground a couple miles away. I want to see if he'll do a test run and sleep in that truck. If he doesn't, grandma, grandma can come and get him and bring him home. If he doesn't want to sleep in the truck. But we're going to do a little test run and all the stuff. The truck runs great. But I'm in debt. I'm in debt $1,000, you guys. I'm in debt $1,000. So now I got two more payments for my truck. And then we're going to be paying off these credit cards. We're going to be paying them off. We're going to be paying off these credit cards. That's my goal for the next year. After that... We're going to try to buy this house. We're going to try to buy this house. If I can buy this house, $37,000, you guys. I should be able to get approved for a loan for $37,000. Try to buy this place, fix it up, get a new roof and all this stuff. There's programs out there to help us. You know, I'm in Minnesota. We, we got the best programs um, 
to help people uh, with low income. Um, you know, that's one thing about being a democratic state. Uh, we pay the highest taxes, but we got the most programs to help people. We got the most programs to help people. Um, so as far as targeting, I'm still going through it. You know, they're, 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 they're having, uh, the dogs went crazy. They're, they're having, this guy is going over to the park. He has two German she shepherds. He's going over to the park, walking right by our fence, and Tanner is going nuts. And this is what they do. This is what they do every single day. They have two or three perps making Tanner go crazy, barking, 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 barking all the time. I got to go out there in my socks and get his ass in here, you know? But that's what they do when you're a T.I. Um, I hear lots of T.I.s. What's with the barking dogs? What's with the barking dogs? It's just something they do in this program, you know, something they do. Fireworks, barking dogs, uh, perps at the park, um, you know, and I figure they're spending $2,000 a day, which is $800,000 a year, you know. So spend your money, spend your stupid money, you know. They're spending $2 million a year, you know, and that's what they're spending. So anyway, I'm happy. I'm not happy about the bill. I'm happy I got my truck running. Because we're still in cool weather. It's not camping weather yet. We're still in the... It was 42 today, you guys. 42. You know, in middle of May in northern Minnesota. It should be in the 60s. You know, so we're in cold weather. Cold spring. You know. And uh, when it gets nicer out, we're going to go camping. We're going to get the truck set up so we can go camping. And all stuff, and I'm happy for that. And that's our plan. We might go camping next month, and I'll do a video on that, you know. But uh, that's my uh, my story for tonight. You know, I'm back on the road. I got my vehicle back. I can go get uh, tobacco and go get liquor and everything else, you know. And uh, I got to go up to Costco tomorrow to get medication. So uh, we're uh, we're free. We're free right for right now and unless they do something to my vehicle uh we're free right now you know and they hate that they hate that they were giving me cramps going over going over to pick up my truck they were giving me cramps like i had to go to the bathroom you know so um these guys are not happy that i have my vehicle back they're not happy that i have my vehicle back and i have my freedom back they're not happy about that and uh so we're back on the road we got our freedom back, you guys, for right now anyway. So I'm going to cut you cut, uh, cut this off, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up and all that stuff and comments and everything else. And I'll talk to you guys later.